61A Lecture Number 8 Announcements Midterm 1 is being graded as I speak, and I hope we'll have it back to you very soon. We try to grade it consistently, but we can't get it right every time. So you are welcome to file regrade requests for any part of the exam on which you should have gotten credit according to our grading rubric, but you didn't. So please take a look over your exam. Regrade requests are due on Monday. Discussion 3 happens this week. There's some discussion starter code that's been posted. The discussion worksheet will be posted shortly. And then we'll have tutorials. We don't have a lot of problems assigned to the tutorials this week since we just had a midterm in order to give you a little bit of time to discuss the course so far. If you want study tips from your tutor, you could ask for those. If you want to form a study group with the other students in your tutorial, you could spend your time doing that. Working together is a great way to improve in this course. And the point of this course is improvement. So if it turns out that midterm one didn't go exactly how you had hoped, that's okay. We're very early in the course. Midterm two counts for more than midterm one. The final counts for more than either of them. Most of the points in this course are yet to come. Your grade is not determined at all yet. So hopefully midterm one gave you a flavor for what exams in this course are like. But please don't worry if you didn't get the score you want. Just focus on improving on future exams. And that means practice, keeping up with lecture, going to discussion, going to your tutorial, paying attention to the labs, and trying to learn everything you can from the homework and projects. This week we will not have an exam prep section since you just had an exam. Instead, we'll have an Ask Us Anything session with the instructors on Friday from 2.10 to 3 as a Zoom webinar. We did another one of these in the first week, and we didn't get to all the questions. So if you have a question that didn't get answered, you could ask it again. Or if you have a new question, you can ask those too. There's a student group called Computer Science Mentors, which isn't really part of the course, but they do a wonderful job supporting the course by offering additional small group mentor sections, kind of like the tutorials that you have as part of the course, but they're a little bit longer, they focus more on conceptual material, and students generally find them quite helpful. So the students that run that told me that they've just added some more sections, so signups are still available if you want to check that out. And finally, the completely optional hog strategy contest will end on Monday. You cannot submit yet because we haven't posted the submission form, so just work on your final strategy and we'll get all that submission machinery up as soon as possible, maybe even by tomorrow. Remember that your final strategy should be a deterministic, meaning non-random, function of the player's scores, and that there's an extra rule, which is that on extra turns, you get to roll eight-sided dice instead of six-sided dice. Here are all the Zoom links, and notice, conspicuously absent from this set of announcements are any due dates this week. There's nothing due this week, because you already spent a lot of time taking a midterm. So I hope you get a little bit of rest, and we'll start up again with the homework released on Friday, a project release next week, as we enter a new part of the course. Today, we get to cover one of my favorite topics in the whole course, called recursion. And recursion is notoriously hard to understand, but I hope that we've set you up to start understanding it now, with all this talk of higher order functions and self-reference, it's still going to take some practice to master recursion. And so by the end of the week, you probably will not have mastered the ability to solve recursive problems, even though we've covered it in lecture. you got to practice by going to discussion, going to lab next week, working on the homeworks, working on project two. And once you've done all that, then recursion problems will seem much more natural than they will when you hear about them the first time. Here we go.